Alright lads, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom Harlock and I do not have an intro, but I am British, baby. Bad teeth, bland food, foreskin. We have it all. The one thing we don't have, however, is the respect of the makeup community mainly due to eyebrows like this. TikTok has recently popularised the idea of British girls having thick eyebrows and dark foundation, mascara that looks like two daddy long legs sucking each other off. If you are American and watching this, you may be sat at home thinking, oh god, I'm so proud of my country, our makeup's more refined, more stunning, more Instagram worthy. Remember, you're all obese. In fact, you're all so obese that American reality TV has a genre completely dedicated to weight loss. TV shows such as My 600 Pound Life, Extreme Weight Loss and The Biggest Loser aim to take a massive person, help them sort their life out a bit, and then wrap it all up in a pretty package. They lose a bit of weight, get given a new haircut, approximately one bangle, and told they're pretty. In Britain, however, we don't really have an obesity problem, so these types of TV shows aren't as popular. But that's not to say we don't have a need for reality television, and no, we don't have shows dedicated to fixing our teeth, our rotting stumps, curing our gingivitis, even though we really should. Britain's best oral. Oh my god. I'm accepting applications now. We do, however, have a cure for our terrible eyebrows in the form of Snog, Marry, Avoid. Running for five years between 08 and 2013, Snog, Marry, Avoid aired on BBC Three, which is like the BBC's older cousin, the cool one who wears Converse. <laughs> the other day, an episode of Snog, Marry, Avoid appeared on my YouTube homepage and the nostalgia sent me manic, honestly. The childhood memories that resurfaced. Please God, give me Benjamin Button's disease. I can't be arsed being an adult anymore. I just want to be an infant. On a typical make under show, you get a plain Jane, you spice her up, add some panache, cover her in spunk. But on Snog Marry Avoid, they take an eccentric person from the street, tell them everyone thinks they're minging, and then they make them under into a Sims preset. And did I mention the whole thing's narrated by a British robot? Pod is the world's one and only make under computer. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. I have made videos on American and Canadian TV, so I thought for today's video I'll turn my attention on to Britain. Take a look at some of the make unders from Snog Barry Avoid because, if I'm honest, every participant was mental and every episode was an absolute car crash. But before I start, did you honestly think I didn't have a sponsor for today's video? <laughs> You won't be making that mistake again, will you? Because today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of courses and classes. Whether you're interested in graphic design, web design, animation, social media branding, Skillshare has the tools to help you develop a deeper knowledge of your passions. For example, I'm pretty confident in every aspect of my life and everything. I can do everything. However, when it comes to my writing, I am a little bit weak at fleshing out characters. So I took stories Storytelling 101 by Daniel Jose Older, and I absolutely loved it. I found it so helpful. Watching somebody passionately teach a subject they have real world experience in is one of my favourite pastimes, regardless. So, to also learn something I care about and find interesting at the same time is just perfect. And by a best selling author, 10 out of 10, sign me up, already have, but you get my point. Skillshare has an encouraging community and real projects for you to complete that are designed to fit around your existing schedule. Bet that's pretty hectic right now. <laughs> so if you would like to explore new skills and deepen existing passions, Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 1000 people who click the link at the top of my description box. And then after that, it only works out around $10 a month. Again, to claim this offer, all you need to do is click the link at the top of my description box. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, I really appreciate it. Back to it. I think the only thing I can do now is pop my AirPods in, crack open a fresh one. Let's start with fake tan and makeup lover Lana gets a make under. I want to turn heads tonight, I don't know if it would happen. <laughs> Let's keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, looks like Gollum found a lace front. This girl looks like she's got progeria. My look's definitely got a babe, lots of makeup. A little bit too much makeup sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, look at them lips. I think she's going for Britain's best oral, if you know what I'm saying. It's time for my fake tan to go on my face to match the colour of my body. <laughs> Jesus, look at the peggies on that. Are you sure you're not fake tanning your teeth too? <laughs> I just rub on the top of my lip so I don't have this big brown moustache. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I love doing orange is the new black. Did you ever get your teeth fixed, love? If you want to have hair extensions, you can either get clips to put them in. I've got glue in mine. So you can either get clippings, glue-ins, or you can get a rat's tail from the gutter and staple it to your scalp like this lass has. I never think England has a meth problem, but then I see gals like this and I'm proven wrong. I am Pod. You will refer to Pod as Pod. Okay. Pod. <laughs> the robot's called Pod, which is the personal overhaul device, and I think it's their way of separating the person from the critiques because they're an absolute arsehole. With any more fake tan, you may end up looking like a freshly varnished fence. <laughs> Before I decide how much of a make under you need, I must run my public analysis program. So, this is where Snog Mario Void gets its name. They take a photo of the young lass or gentleman, show them to a bunch of strangers on the street, and ask, Would you snog marry or avoid this person? I would avoid. I would definitely avoid. I think we'd go and void. All right, well, that would be enough to make me cry. If they took my photo and showed it to a bunch of strangers and everyone said they thought I was minging, I would absolutely end it all. The only reason I come online and post videos is because I know I'm stunning. How does it feel that 87% of the public want to avoid you? Horrible. It's really mean. You say mean, I say honest. And you will be subjected to my full make-under. In the beginning series, they made them pick from a predetermined list of hairstyles and looks, which I think means they bought four wigs and four outfits. Sometimes they don't even get the choice to pick. They're just like, you know what, you don't deserve bodily autonomy. Let the make under commence. Oh, lads, what have you done to you? <laughs> oh my god! Ah, <clears throat> uh, well, the hair looks a bit Dora Explorer, but the rest of it's alright, I guess. If you're a librarian who never wants to be fingered in the life. I look so different. <laughs> oh, I like the boots. How are you feeling? I'm oh, amazed. I love it so much. She doesn't look awful, but I know this girl far too much. She's the type of lass to ask you for a Rizzler every three minutes, even though you told her you only smoke straights. Previously, 87% of men said they would avoid you. Let's see what they say now. Yeah, I think I'd probably marry her. She looks like she could cook really well. <laughs> yeah, meth. Now, 50% of men want to snog you. Yay. Didn't ask me then, did they? Because I'd be pinging her out the door. Look at that. Not that coral scarf. Can you see that it is better not to look like a varnished fence? Yeah, definitely. After this, definitely. Typical girl changing who she is for cock. The make under has been a success. Goodbye, Lana. Okay, that was quite a successful crackhead to crack under make under. That's a good start to the Snog Mario Avoid universe, but I think we should persevere and move on. I want to see what fresh looks they've got for the boys. Danny Gogo loves his Nicki Minaj style. Oh, God, here we go. I'm Danny Gogo, I'm 19, and I'm from Brighton. Oh, perfect. Is that Jeffree Star? I'm like a local celebrity in Brighton. People stop me and ask me for my photo all the time. All eyes are on me. This pink hair has got me a lot of attention. When you say attention, do you mean hate crimes? I've been doing Danny's tan for about two years, since he's become a bit vain. I want it darker, put it darker. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine a world in which I asked my mum to fake tan me in the bathtub. She would honestly do a dad 2.0 pop out just for milk and never come back. Danny's look has affected the family life, especially with his sister, because I think she gets quite embarrassed. Ooh, the James Charles jumped out. I'm Danny Gogo, and if you can think you can change all this fakery, it's a no-no. Woo! You look riddled, but apart from that, all right. The whiff of fake tan, I know who's in here. Danny? Hello. Back away from the tanning booth, put some clothes oh. on and come with me. I've got a little quiz for you about um, fellas and things. God, this is so late 2000s, you can see this lass is being so careful not to say the wrong thing. Um, yeah, let's, um, speak about boys? Is that okay? Le fellas and lads and stuff? Is that legal yet? Do you order a nice frugal chicken salad or do you go, bring on the lobster? I would probably just have another drink. <laughs> you don't eat? I think if there's two things that have been proven by Snog Mary Avoid. One, British people don't know how to dress. Two, we've all kind of got the same sense of humour. All I need to say is, very, very good luck. I am Pod, the personal overhaul device. Who are you? I am Danny Gogo. Pod would like to know why you want to look like a toy troll. <laughs> oh, Pod, that's not very nice. Run. Run. Phase, Phase one. Phase one. Public, public analysis. analysis. There's no way anyone's going to bang him, let's be honest. I asked the public if they would want to snog, marry or avoid this boy. What do you think they said? Avoid. 
I would avoid. He's not exactly my type. No. 100% <laughs> Oh my god. Run the make under in three, two, one. Oh my god, why does everyone look like they've just fallen out of an H&M front window? Would you like to hear what the general public now think of your look? Yes, I'd love to, Pod. Most definitely wouldn't marry him because I'm hoping to marry somebody else. But yeah, he seems like a nice guy. I'd probably pop into a bar, buy him a cheap drink and yeah, go for a snog. Why not? It's cute. Brave boy admitting to adultery on TV. Couldn't be me. 100% of the people we are, Danny, now want to snog you. Ah, uh, everyone wants a bit of go-go. It's now time for Danny to reveal his new male model look on the pod walk. What will his family make of his pink-free posing? <laughs> They could have let him fill in his eyebrows a bit, the poor soul. Oh, he looks so smart. Oh, he looks so smart. Can't wait to not rub orange paste on his arsehole every night. All right, let's move on. The more extreme orange, the better. Perfect. Hello, I'm Hannah, and I spend my life trying to stand out. Well, you succeeded there, Hannah, love. I've been tanning for years. I think the orange are the better. Hannah looks like she stinks of biscuits. Yeah, I think my face is nice and colourful. God, I just want to scrape it off her. Why is it always the sweet bubbly girls that dress like absolute dog shit? I think I look amazing with my tan. I love it. Especially when I go out. Everybody looks at me there. I'm sure they do, darling. My friends always like take the mick out of my look. Sometimes they call me Frodo Baggins. I love it a bit, but she just doesn't need to look like that. Have you got any jobs going? Oh, you haven't at the moment, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the look that this last has gave her. I've met some girls who were orange, and then I met you. Oh my lord, you are mahogany. Thank you. <laughs> you absolutely revolt me. You stink, you smell like battery acid, and I get a film of grease when I touch you. Thank you. You are white, aren't you? Yeah. Even you must think this is quite an extreme look now. Sometimes I just think it, like when I look in the mirror and I think, am I a bit over the top? But then I think, well, I like it, so... You know what? You kind of have a point. And I never thought I'd be convinced that someone who looks like this should look like this. But I kind of like her. I think she's a fun, bubbly, colourful. Looks like she smells like apple cider vinegar, but it's all right. I am Pod, the personal overhaul device. Who are you? Hi, Pod. I'm Hannah. Hannah, you are a streaky, made-up mess. She looks like she's pissed herself and it's all ran down her leg. You must have bought all the fake tan in Wales. Do I look expensive? The price sticker at the bottom of her shoe, the nan tattoo on her foot, everything about this is perfect. Hannah, Pod would like to award you the Olympic gold medal for the most tanned person ever. I would like to thank my dad for paying for it and I'd like to thank myself for looking so good wearing the tan. Hannah said Oompa Loompa right. I asked the public, would you want to snog, marry or avoid this? Girl. They're going to say avoid and it's going to hurt my feelings, isn't it? Unfortunately, I've avoided her because she's got like too much makeup on her face. So if I put my finger inside her cheek, she probably won't feel it. She's got that much makeup on. Well, that is true. Why you put your finger inside the cheek anyway, you dirty little scoundrel? 100% of people said they wanted to avoid you. Well, that's not fair, is it, Pods? I reckon you're lying, Pod. Put on your deep cleanse dressing gown. It's time to say goodbye, Oompa Loompa. Honestly, just get the power washer from outside and blast her down. It'll be a lot quicker. That is disgusting. Is it going better? Anything's an improvement. Now, are you ready to see yourself as a natural beauty? I doubt it. Please don't make her look revolting. Please don't make her look revolting. It's really nice. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> I mean, cry a little bit. I would like it. You should. Let's see if the general public agree. I'd definitely marry her. Her hair looks really nice and her skin's she's got a really good complexion as well. Oh, that's a posh word. I want her to go back into that shop and get another job and then tell that girl to stick that job up her ass. Hannah, before everyone wanted to avoid you, now 60% want to snog you and the other 40% want to marry you. <laughs> How do you feel, Hannah? Really happy. Sometimes in Snog, Marry, Avoid, when they have the make under, they take them out and show the parents just to make it a bit emotional. And honestly, I have a feeling this one's going to send me over the edge. I think I do look really classy, actually, for the first time. <laughs> 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 
my god! Oh, bless her. <laughs> I think Hannah's a good one to end on because that's filled me with good good emotions. I feel good about this video today. I don't want to be. I don't want to be left on a hate. I kind of want to be left on a hate filled one. All right, one more. Let's go with another chap. This is Captain Jack Sparrow lookalike gets a make under. I am Prod. Who are you? Um, I'm James. Ooh, pirate tease. Are you a pirate of the Caribbean? Yeah, I get called Jack Sparrow a lot. I bet he's had a few fishy fingers in his lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Shouldn't do that, that's actually against the rules. My hands are clean for once. Promised I cleaned underneath my nails and everything. Miss Corona isn't vecked in this bod, do you know what I'm saying? Will you shiver me timbers? <laughs> I'd shiver everyone's timbers. Shit flickers on that. It looks like he'd swing his leg and it'd end up in my gut. I'm just a bloke that likes accessorising, really. Pod computes, you are also a bloke who likes to wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what's wrong with that, Pod? Go on, show us your true colours. That's right. Why? Because I feel I have very small eyes. So, I like eyeliner. Hmm. You do look like two piss holes in the snow. Pod has decided you are a colourphobic barnacle on the face of natural beauty. If they put him in jeans and a cardigan, I'm gonna riot. Run the make under. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> this is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. I love Christine Aguilera in Shark Tale. <laughs> <laughs> thinks you look very handsome. Thank you, Pod. Shall we see if the public agree? Yeah, go for it. I think he looks very cute, and I'm loving the woolly hat. Yeah, I'd snog him. Yeah, I would. I'd give him a good kiss. He's got good cheekbones, nice face. We had cheekbones before, we just had eyeliner on. 70% now want to snog you, and the rest want to marry you. I'm well pleased with that. Here's how I achieved your new look. A hat is a great way to add a funky accessory. You could have just washed his hair and given him a suit and been done with it. So, James, have you seen the light? I may be wearing colours from now on. What do you think of natural beauty now, James? It seems to have worked wonders. So I'm definitely pro natural beauty. I think I'm gonna call it a day. You look like Kristen Aguilera in Shark Tale. You look like Jasper Cullen, but less likely to provide a satisfying baseball scene. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. It lets YouTube know you want more videos like this on your homepage. And if you want more videos from me in general, then click subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make more videos on Stog Mario Void or the plethora of other tacky reality TV shows we have in the UK. If you want to catch up with me in between uploads, then make sure to check out my Instagram at Tom underscore Harlock. I upload stories all the bloody time and if you don't follow me there you're gonna miss them. Cheers for 940,000 subscribers. That is a lot of people and we're very close to a million so if you want to hit that button honestly I'm not gonna be mad at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. How on earth have I been filming for three hours and I still look good? It's an absolute mystery. <laughs> bye.